Yo, what's going on? We gotta check on Aiden Ross. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that real quick. We need to make sure this dude is doing okay, because I don't think he is. Chat, look, I just woke up to some crazy catastrophic gold. Catastrophic. Catastrophic. Catabas. Catastrophic news my man is so goddamn distraught that andrew tate has gone to jail that he's now cosplaying as him he is now dressing up as the man he even shaved his fucking head if you're munching on someone's meat so fucking hard that you literally shave your head bald my guy your priorities are so out of whack <laughs> it'd be one thing if this was halloween but nah bro he did this on the first day of the year he's already starting this year off on a the worst foot known to man now i was first made aware of this when i saw a tweet that he posted yesterday and look at it look at this tweet <laughs> if i have to see it then you have to see it and dude okay first off funniest thing ever like literally the craziest and also the goofiest and also the funniest and silliest thing i've ever seen but dude also like look at the actual tweet itself starting of 2020 23 <laughs> starting of 2020 23 right huh <laughs> what what are you saying to us right now what are you trying to get across to us so the cock gobbleization is off the charts first off but it's like this isn't even the first thing he's tweeted since the whole Andrew Tate situation, which I'm not even gonna fucking talk about because I don't care. My dude is having a full on meltdown on Twitter. Like the past three things that he's tweeted have been about Andrew Tate and nothing else. Andrew and Tristan Tate just got arrested. There's no way, man. They're fucking criminals, my guy. There is most certainly a way that that is possible. And it's like, why? You got no stake in this, dude. I like, I get you like might be friends or whatever, but like, you gotta understand at least from the outsider's perspective looking in, this makes perfect sense. And I understand Tate has his fucking army of actual children and Aiden Ross, <laughs> who I know will defend this man until the day he literally fucking dies. And that's fine. I don't give a shit. I'm not one of them. So I don't care. I got no stake in this. Now, I ain't gonna lie though. Joe Biden, please go ahead and pardon Andrew Tate. Donald Trump would have been on it already. Unfortunately, Trump clears you, Sleepy Joe. This is the same man who thinks that we're living in 2020, 23. Just want to point that out real swift. I always forget that Aiden Ross is actually a fucking whiz when it comes to politics, political science, all that stuff. I always forget that he's a genius with this shit simply just not how it works <laughs> but of course the tweets are insane the picture is more than insane but i think is the funniest part of the fucking replies dude he thinks he's tate becoming a monk for incel them is wild though bottom g oh dude no actually looking at this reminds me look at this fucking tiktok that i found i'm literally a gay guy and in my entire life i've never been in or taken a photo that is as gay as this is like look at them like i could not have said that any better than the person who made that tiktok and i guess this isn't the first time that aiden ross has like cosplayed as andrew tate that's what i'm gonna call it is cosplay because because th there's just no other way to dismiss this amount of meat writing here we got mike madjlack i don't know how to pronounce that but i know he's the co-host on the impulsive podcast so someone who i would probably never see eye to eye with uh i don't think that's how it works bro and then dude who else <laughs> who else would come in you know spit some fucking wisdom bars on us other than peaks do you guys remember peaks from vine garbage ass content <laughs> constantly just being hella racist or you know hella disrespectful to women so makes so much sense why he would be on on the side of the andrew tate supporters mike in one month from now damn logan i should have tweeted something different just want to point out 300 000 views and 697 likes like this dude had hella engagement back in the day but like i don't <laughs> if this is where he's at now then it makes perfect sense why he's getting those numbers but you know i don't i really don't even want to just like roast people because you know who am i to roast people who i don't even know yeah so what they're totally defending you know one of the hum the biggest like borderline cult leaders on the face of the planet who is just so so misogynistic hates women just so fucking much and has dudes pay him <laughs> 50 bucks a month to learn how to be just as horrible as he is and let's also not forget that he is most likely just a humongous piece of shit criminal but as i said don't want to get into that you know yes aiden the president of the united states should pardon the guy who was arrested in romania i completely agree now it's not necessarily that much of a shocker that aiden doesn't understand how politics work as was made very evident in this clip i can name three reasons why biden is a joke Tell me, tell, tell, give me three reasons why Trump is better than Biden. I'm not saying you're wrong. I just want to know if you actually, if you're actually talking and you're not just a bot, bot okay. repeating first shit. First of all, first of all, what happened with abortion is is ridiculous. You should not be able to tell a woman what to do with her body. That's first of all. That's a woman's wait, body. Wait, you think? Wait, you think? Oh. You think? <laughs> yeah, why are we doing this right now? Oh, Wrong oh, screen. Oh, you're so oh, brain dead. Oh, oh, you're so oh, brain dead. Oh, oh. <laughs> all right, Josh. Josh, do you have a sister? Do you have a sister? 
Yeah, I have a sister, bro. Okay. Wait, wait you think Biden yeah. was the one that wanted abortion to be? That's that's what you think. That's he's like a president. that's, that's he, how that works. He's a president. He can, you know, what I'm saying he can fucking not ban it. What do you mean? All right, bro. No, it becomes that it comes down to the Supreme Court, like the legislative branch. Uh, so yeah, clearly a genius, clearly very, very educated on this. So I'm gonna leave it on one of my favorite replies that I've seen from Alex Salvi. Joe Biden is the U.S. president and has no authority to pardon. Eh, what's the point? You know, what's the point of even trying to get this across someone who is so confident and so set in his own beliefs? And then Phil, classic Phil, everyone knows Phil. The president has no authority to pardon. Uh, yeah, the U.S. president has no authority to pardon in Romania. Mania, LMAO. Obviously, I meant in the US. That wasn't at all a part of the conversation. What are you talking about? <laughs> Alex's tweet, and no, it's him making fun of essentially this guy. Anyways, any, whatever. And <laughs> I just really wanted to talk about this. You know, I think it's hilarious. For the most part, I actually really like Aiden's content kind of more back in the day, I would say. I think his more recent stuff, now that he's been introduced to Andrew Tate and just that entire world of people, whatever, I can definitely say that I'm not necessarily the biggest fan, but yeah, I just wanted to just wanted to talk about that. We should uh, we should check on Aiden Ross. I think that's, um, I think these are all clearly screams for help, but you know, I'm joking, of course. I just wanted to poke some fun at this. Anyways, that's gonna do it for today. If you made it this far in the video, thank you. I seriously appreciate it. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good and sexy stuff. <laughs> all right, well, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.